And speaking of Jonathan Live, the reason I'm sitting here in front of you right now is that our headline sponsor is, of course, Modern Drummer. So we are so pleased uh, to have Modern Drummer as part of our journey. And, um, and they came up with the quick idea of doing some fireside chats in the evenings, uh, at least the evenings in the UK, um, uh, with some of our drummers who are participating. So I think that's enough of the background. And one of those drummers who has participated with us is Sharice Osei, drummer for Simple Minds. Sharice, how are you? How did you get involved with Drummathon Live? Yeah, so first of all, I'm very well, thank you. Um, yeah, obviously, I, like I did my, you know, my live stream with Drummathon Live on Saturday, which was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Involved, you know, with Drummathon because I know Errol Kennedy. Um, I've known, uh, yeah, I've known Errol. Actually, I, like I first met Errol when I was 15. Um, wow, <laughs> really? At 33, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, all time. So that's how I got involved. Errol called yeah. me out. Luckily, I am free at the moment because obviously, you know, been in the pandemic um, and I'm around. So I just, you know, jumped at the chance to be involved with something that is for mental health and to raise money for, you know, for our beloved NHS. So, yeah, I got involved that way through, yeah, through Errol and Beth, of course. Fantastic, fantastic. And last year we did do, we did raise money for the NHS. And this year, as I was saying, we've, 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 we've gone even bigger and we have a portfolio of five uh, massive mental health charities this year because we are all aware with this uh, with COVID and with the lockdown one of the impacts of that has been on the mental health of our nation and indeed the world um, uh, especially uh, I mean it's for everyone but imagine in the music industry and for our fellow drummers out there this has been an incredibly difficult time so we made a very conscious choice and Bevan Errol made a very conscious choice that the monies we raised this year would go to mental health charities. So we're, um, so we, I said, we have a portfolio of charities. We've got MIND, we've got Anna Freud Center, we've got UK Trauma Council, we've got Child Bereavement UK, and we've got NHS charities together. So uh, all the monies we raise are gonna be split across those five amazing charities. Back to Cherise. Cherise, I have to say, Okay, um, and, and, and of, of course, we all, I mean, not we all, but I certainly grew up with Simple Minds. You know, as a 14-year-old as a teenager sitting in rural South Carolina in America, um, I was in front of my TV screen when something called MTV launched. I think it was August, I can't remember, August 1981, I think it was. And... Um, Suddenly, on my screen were, was filled with amazing music, and one of those groups was Simple Minds. So, you know, love and respect to our Mel Gaynor, yeah, who was the original drummer for yeah. Simple Minds. And, um, and so, obviously, I knew Simple Minds since then, and I knew about Mel Gaynor. And then I came to know about you, Cherise. And I'll tell you what, the first thing that I ever saw made such an impression on me <laughs> and this is a surprise for you and i want you to tell me about this amazing performance here okay. look uh, at that yeah <laughs> wow look at that i think it's tina turner on drums whoa yes. i'll take that <laughs> any day that's a big compliment thank you yeah no that was Therese, that's the yeah. first that was my introduction to you was that oh, video great. on YouTube? So and it, show, yeah, that was filmed for Vic Firth, uh, my drum yes. set, and it was at the Boston, it was at the Orpheum um, in Boston, and that was on, the, and that was on my first US tour with Simple Minds. That yeah, I did. fantastic, and we did, yeah, you know, went all across North America, and it was fantastic. So yeah, that's what that video was from, um, and that was great. The energy was great. You know, the guys yeah. came back to America. They haven't toured America for quite a while. That's yes. The first for like 20 years so it was a really special tour um started in mexico city i mean two and a half months straight on the bus and, and playing <laughs> so yeah it was, it was great so that's not a bad introduction <laughs> Glad you no did. it's not and let me tell make sure i tell our viewers um you can find that amazing performance uh just type in chariso say simple minds performance spotlight in yes. youtube and just check out that glittery outfit you've got on there. Whoa. I mean, you kill it. 
Well, you know, I thought, you know, one of my favorite drummers is Sheila E. And I just, she's always been me. So I just went, I'm going to, that's, yeah, that's who inspired me for that. I love it. I love it. Now, another feast for the eyes for our viewers, hopefully soon. I do not know if this has come out yet on, um, on Modern Drummer, is your performance for Drumathon Live. Yeah. On Saturday, I think it was. Yeah. Oh. So I'm just going to, if that is not up yet, uh, it will be hopefully soon after this fireside chat. And um, I just want to show people what they're going to be able to see. Look at that. <laughs> there <we> wow. <laughs> How did you choose your set list? It sounds amazing. Well, I basically just chose like, you know, like all the artists I've played with like over the years. Of course, yeah. my, I just I, I just chose my favorite songs from all the artists I've played with. But obviously, yes. I know already. <laughs> So yeah. that was easy. Um, so yeah, yes, yeah, so I did. You know, the Faders first song there, my first ever band, my first a band that I was signed in. Uh, I was signed to Universal. That was my first break when I was seventeen. Yeah. And I, I, I started to, uh, like, drumming with Mika um, for about eight years. So yes, yeah. Mika, and then you know Brian Ferry, like they, yes. I was about five years toured and made three albums with him. So I just yeah got a lot of Brian in there, and, and of course the combined and also Kelly Jones who is. No, Kelly Jones like, is the lead singer from the Stereophonic. He, he did like um, a right. solo, yeah, sort of like um, two years ago. And so yeah. I played drum and we did like a live album and documentary. So, mm. so yeah, some Stereophonic songs in there. But yeah, just a mix of my favorite songs from artists that I've, you know. Did you have, um, uh, uh, Simple Minds Aside, of course. Yeah. Simple Minds Aside, did you have, could you name like a favorite track that you played during that hour? Ooh. Tough one. <laughs> that, um, probably, hmm, probably like Waterfront is always, yeah. it's obviously Simple Mind, one of their big tracks. That is, I love the drums on that. They're so simple. Yeah. Obviously, and this drum part, you know, and it's such a great part. It's just, yeah, yeah. And it's actually quite hard to do because it's quite hard to keep that energy and that intensity for the whole song. It's, it's, it's quite yeah. challenging. Um, so I love that song because it challenges me and I just love the pop. Um, oh, that's fantastic. So, so that song, that song's in your set. Yeah. It is in that hour. What, where, where, where should we look for that? That is probably about halfway. I about think. halfway. Okay. It's in like a medley. I, I did a few medleys in my set to make, you know, keep it more interesting. Yeah. Than good. The way through. So, cool. You know, people have short attention spans these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite yeah. Um, as, as well as full songs. Oh, um, I love it. I love it. Love it. How so, did you actually get the call from Simple Minds? How did you get involved with Simple Minds? That's a good question. So, okay, so obviously, you know, like I played for Brian Ferry. I was with him for five years. Yeah. Simple Minds. So, Jim and Charlie um, are big fans of Brian Ferry and are also good friends with him. So, and so one of the producers I worked with on, like on, like on, on the last album, like Brian. Yeah. Jim and Charlie, and they said to him, "Do you know anybody? You know, maybe a female sort of drummer, um, yeah. and, and you know, for you know, for, you know, to play percussion though on the acoustic. That's how I got involved. And it was yeah. sort of cool the album, and and they wanted percussion. You know, not necessarily drums. And I do play mm. percussion as well. So I, yes, I came in playing percussion on the acoustic. I came in actually making an album with them first, and this is the album we did to find acoustic. Wow." Made the album, we clicked, and they said, "Right, we're taking this album on the road. Do you want to come on the road with us?" And oh. uh, it all just happened very organically. Did you have to think about yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to think really hard about that. I said, "Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Oh, let me just check." Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me check my diary. <laughs> yeah, let me just check. I, I might be. Yeah, I might be. I might be washing my hair. <laughs> um, but no, Love it. Great. Um, and so that's how it happened. So recording and then live and. I've been with them yeah. now for five years, um, and it's been uh, such a, yeah, an incredible journey. I've done like yes, yeah, three albums with them. No, sorry, four albums with them. Wow! Recording a new album, literally in the last few months. In lockdown. really, yes. Yeah, so now, how has that been during lockdown? That must have been a challenge to finish an album. Yeah, well, like we'd already called, like we'd already like recorded half the album already. Mm. Um, sort of like before the last tour. So we finished yeah. the 
second half of the album. So I'm very lucky because I've got a you know, I've got a studio at home in my back garden, and I'm recording. Yeah. I'm in my studio now, and so I did the my studio, and we did it you know remotely. They were in Hamburg. They rented a studio in Hamburg. They recorded their parts there. I sent over my drum parts, recorded it here in, 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 in yeah, you know, in my studio, and yeah, that's how we did it. So yeah, man. Wow! Wow. What? Yeah, and I understand there was a tour, wasn't there, that had to be delayed as well. Yeah, well, we were actually on the road. Oh, when, you were? Yeah, when the pandemic kind of hit, the first kind of lockdown, just wow. before the lockdown, we were on the road um, in Europe, and tour was going really well. We did eight, you know, we did about eight shows, and we had three months booked, and we did two weeks, and we were just sent home. And we never went back on the road. Since. Oh, no. It's been a year and a half now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, incredible. It had to be postponed because of COVID. And now the dates are now postponed again to next year. Um, but we're not sure. Again, the dates keep changing. So, really? you know, just, yeah, just check on the Simple Minds website. Or, you know, any of you fans out there, if you want to come to the show, to check on the website and it's regu you know, regularly updated with the latest dates. There are going to be tour dates. It is going to happen. So, okay. yeah, their site. And, um, Fantastic. Oh, th thanks so much for saying that, Cherie. So, we can all go to the Simple Minds website and yeah. see the latest and greatest information about tour yeah. dates. And and do we know when the album's going to come out? Or we, we no, don't know? Again, no, so if you, again, if you keep checking on their website, you know, and also checking on my social media pages, so okay. you know, at Cherise Drums on Instagram and Twitter, and Cherie So Say on Facebook. Yeah, check on my pages and Simple Minds page. You can see Fantastic. Great. Yeah, great, those. great. Well, so you mentioned, so all of a sudden, you know, slam, stop, boom, COVID hit and suddenly everything stopped. Um, yeah. uh, what has that experience been like for you? How have you handled lockdown over the past year? Well, I mean, to be honest, it was really disappointing. Obviously, we were on tour as well. Um, so it, it was really gutting when we had the call that actually we could stop the tour and go home. Yeah. And home, I mean, I'm quite lucky, as I said, because I've got a home studio in my back garden. Yeah. And to be honest with you, drums has got me through the lockdown. <clears throat> And really? in general, through some you know, tough times in my life, and I'm really fortunate that I have you know, drums and music. Um, yeah, so this is what I've been doing. You know, I've been very lucky. So I have managed to keep working through the lockdown. As I said, mm. Simple Minds, we continue to record, you know, a, a new album. Um, yeah. Their charity live stream this day as well, uh, last December, was really great. So we got to do, you know, one gig, at least, you know. Um, oh, yes, yeah. Well, I've been working with you know a um, film composer uh, called Lorne Balf. So I've been doing some film and TV scores, and also I teach drums as well. So I'm doing online teaching, and then I've got oh. my own involved with. So I've, 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 met, I've basically like, you know kept myself busy. And that's <laughs> it I, sounds like it. <laughs> I like being busy, so that's wow. how. Wow. Um, then I don't know if you just mentioned one of those projects that I'm aware of that I think you did, that you've done recently, or you did certainly yeah. during lockdown, wasn't it the music to the Games Awards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. something like that? Yeah. With that, that was incredible. That was in Abbey Studios, wasn't it? Yes, that was Abbey Road, Studio One. Abbey Road. London Symphony Orchestra, fantastic. And that was Lorne Bell, the, the, uh, the film composer. Right. Uh, it was fantastic. And so, yeah, I was the drummer for that with the orchestra. I was the only one that was not, like, classical <laughs> <laughs> i was reading but i, I obviously look very different to them so it was really yeah being the kind of yeah the only kind of rocky you know, the only kind of musician like that in, yes. you know, in, in the room did that so did, did, did that really feel different that felt different for you being with them classical yeah it's a different experience and play differently yeah. um and i had a bit of a score i didn't have to stick to the score but i had some so i knew you know where I was. Um, yeah. Um, no, I mean, yeah, it was just different because you're playing with an orchestra and there's not, you know, there was a guitarist actually. There was a female guitarist as well. So, okay. yeah, Lorne wants to kind of up a bit. Um, but yeah, you just, yeah, it's just a different experience really from playing. Yeah. With, yeah, um, of course, of course. And had you, had you filmed in Abbey Road before or what was the first time? No, so I have, yeah, so I actually filmed with, um, with Lorne Balf literally a few months before that in Abbey Road in Studio One. Okay which um, I'm not sure what it's, yeah, anyway, yes, yeah, so I, I did that, we did a film together, yes. and so, um, I've been in there with Mika uh, before recording for the Abbey Road session. I have been in there before. Um, yes. It's always amazing going in there, the energy of the room and the history, you feel yeah. it in 
you, you just and the sound of the room, my drums, just like just, you know, taking a bass drum in a yeah. it, it just sounds <laughs> like never heard your kit sound so good. Wow. So, well, well I, would, I can just imagine with the, the history, just the history of that place for a musician walking in that front door just must feel incredible. Uh, just it incredible. Experience. And it really stays with you. I always remember every time I've been there. You know, I, it stays with you, as you say. But, but yeah, this yeah. is just incredible. So I just, that, again. That is, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, let me check in quickly with our with our with our teams. Okay, we're we're cool. We're cool. Okay, right. You mentioned something about um, Sicily, and yes. something about Tower. I think you were in Tower Mean now. No? Yes, in Sicily, which I know really well, and I know how beautiful it is. Yeah. And I remember you at the time posting a photo uh, of uh, Mount. Was it was it uh, the volcano Etna? Oh, she's slowing down on us here. Hopefully that Wi-Fi. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> she's back. <laughs> no, but I remember you posting a photo of the volcano. Uh, Stephen, what's the volcano in Etna. Sicily? Etna. Etna, yeah. Uh, from your window. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah we, very lucky. We stayed in a lovely place and had a yeah. balcony overlooking, um, you know, Mount Etna. So it was incredible. Oh, sorry. Yes. There you go, back now. There we go. Um, yeah, perfect. Yes, it was amazing. So, and yeah, we did yeah, we did like a charity live stream for Nordoff Robbins. Ah, and did you? Just yeah. mental health. So mental yeah. health again. Again, yeah, exactly. It's, well, it's good, so good for you, Cherise. Uh, Cherise, I mean, so much respect for you. I mean, you're an incredibly successful artist, but so, yet you are taking the time and the energy. Yeah. There you go. For, to, to give. It, it seems like you give a lot and you are an amazing example um, for the rest of us. So thank you. Thank you oh, for that. You. Um, so here's something you might can also, so connected to that, Sicily, I think maybe yeah. you could tell us about what is happening here. Oh. I love the look. Yeah, so that is, yeah, so basically with, uh, yeah, with Simple Minds, I did these things with them called Tour Diaries, where, yes. yeah, so basically that's what that is from, and we did some, like, yeah, like a few years ago, where each Tour Diary yes. was based on, like, a different band member and about their past and history and how they're involved in Simple Minds, and, and we did a musical performance in each Tour Diary, so you can check them out on my, um, you know, on my YouTube channel, um, sorry, my yeah. Um and yes, yeah, so that's what that. Yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, me and Simple Minds sort of did that together in conjunction. And I, yeah, and I was presenting it um, and just filming it on the road and putting these videos together. Yeah. Minds, uh, so it's on there. They're incredible. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, you can check it out. Sort of behind the scenes with Simple Minds. So yeah, that's yeah. what you know. Yeah, they're they're really really worth checking out because I mean you've got some episodes with it's 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 just it's so incredibly insightful. It's just. I've seen episodes of just you and Jim sitting sitting at a table and you're just chatting. Yeah. And it's just, it's so relaxed and it's so insightful. I, I think about uh, the band and about uh, touring and, you know, that travel life. Um, it, they really are, they're very interesting. They are, they're such, I mean, they're such great, you know, first of all, they're great people and they just love music. And even after 40 years, going for 40 years, they still, they still want to write great songs. They still want to do great performances, and they just love what they do. Enthusiasm and energy is. And I just, I feel very lucky to be working with you know people of that caliber and people of that enthusiasm and yeah. music. And we all want to play and do just enjoy it. And everyone else to enjoy. It. So I'm just very lucky. And you know, you know, for me, like obviously um, with mental health, as I say, yeah. drugs through a lot of tough times, and that's why I wanted to be involved with Drumathon because I thought you know like. You know, like if raising money by drumming can you know, help other people who have suffered with their mental health, then that is an incredible thing. And, yeah. you know, yeah. what I love doing to help others, help support others is amazing. And working with Bevan Errol, and, you know, and yourself, Tom, you know, you, you know your guys' dedication, the time you put in, you know, you really want to make a difference. And I'm just so happy to jump on board. And oh, be I'm so you know? happy you've been, you've, you've been part of it. And, and, and as you know, 
We've had so many, so many incredible, incredible uh, session drummers, cool drummers, world-renowned drummers, everybody. Oh, yeah. mean, we're not only talking about high-profile drummers here, but the most incredible, talented drummers from, from all over the world, no matter how, you know, how much of a high-profile name they are, they are giving, and it's absolutely incredible. Yes, no, I've just seen someone say something on there saying that Simple Minds are actually 44 years they've been together. Oh. <laughs> 44 years. That I'm was just... probably Jim. That was probably Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So of uh, all these other drummers uh, are, 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 uh, that we have involved with Drumathon right now, yeah. do any stick out for you? There's just so, there's just so many. There's um, so I mean, obviously, Errol. I love Errol's playing. Yes. My favorite. Um, obviously, you know, you know, Will Champion, um, who was on before me. That's right. Yes. I love, I'm a huge Coldplay fan, so it was amazing to watch him and watch his set. Um, Jerry Brown. I mean, there's so many amazing drummers involved. So, yeah, Jerry Brown. Um, yeah. I could, yeah. Yeah, Paul Stewart from The Feeling. There's, there's, there's uh, so Nick many. Hodgson from The Kaiser Chiefs. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, it, from it just... Idols. Yes. Yes. Um, Brilliant. It's incredible. Everybody watching, I, I'm, I promise you, this has probably kind of slipped up on you because, <laughs> um, because as you know, you know, we do have a very small production team. We are all working for charity. It's all pro bono and we're doing it for love. Um, but, you know, there hasn't been massive PR yet. We don't have a massive team behind us doing that. Monica Price, who is incredible presenter working with us she's done a lot of press a lot of social media but this is massive and i mean we would normally have a huge team behind this so i think that it's actually slipped up on the world what we're doing and uh it's just uh, amazing uh, yeah. uh, amazing check it out if you don't know about it yet yes. um Fantastic. Well, live, everybody. It's still yes, drum with Thank you, Cherie. See, yeah. you, 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 you know I need some more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're fantastic. Uh, Drumathon dot live uh, for all information, including to watch the live streams. We have two live streams normally. Incredible. Um, and our hashtag across. All social media channels is uh, uh, is hashtag drum for mental health the number four hashtag drum for mental health so you'll find information posts performances all over the place and of course that most important thing is on the website there's a beautiful red button beautiful red button that says donate so uh, I, we will still monitor and if you put your information in there the next person that donates from our Spireside chat is getting one of these historic uh, T-shirts. Right. Um, <laughs> gosh, where do we go from here? Uh, Sharice, it's just been absolutely amazing uh, speaking to you. It's a real pleasure for me because working behind the scenes and working as the producer, you know, behind the scenes all the time, it's, it's, it's rare that I get a chance to just kind of sit and just actually chat with 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 a lot of our our artists and our and our drummers so this has been a true pleasure for me um thank you so much thank you so much to modern drummer for thank being you. our headline sponsor um we will do more of these uh fireside chats as soon as i organize them <laughs> yeah. last night we had jason cooper of the cure which um what was the information jason's 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 performance, I think, was number eight in the Twitch musical performances in the world yesterday. What? Number eight, and so we had him on last night, with, thrown together really quickly, and we're going to have obviously many more in the coming week. So watch this space as soon as the producer figures out what we're doing and who's going to be on. Um, definitely, definitely watch this space, Sharice. You said you were, you happen to be sitting in your studio there. I am. Yeah, it looks like you're behind a set of drums. I am. I am actually sitting at my kit. My drums are here. Honestly, yeah, I, As a, I'm not, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, I'm not putting you out, but is there any way to drum us out? 
Oh, I could, it's yeah, I could do something. Completely unplanned. I could do, <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Hold on. <laughs> I love it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful way. If you can, you're going to yeah. drum us out. Thank you, everybody. You. Cherise, you're amazing. We love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Modern Drummer. And yeah, see you soon, guys. All, All right, drum us out. <laughs> Woo!